Hello everyone, this is Lee with the Computer Workshop, and for today's video, we're going to be looking at the rank formula within Microsoft Excel. Whether you're a data analyst or someone that utilizes this uh, program and software on a regular basis, it's going to be a great function to use to help rank any data set that you do have. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to take our data. Um, what we have here, for example, is a list of products and units sold. Since it is uh, in the winter, we have used a set of winter apparel for this example. Um, so we're going to go ahead and either select the range or just one cell within the range of data. And we're going to go ahead and format, format that as a table. It will make it easier to sort and filter your data once everything is complete. So within the ribbon, we'll select the format as table option. And from here, we can select any sort of uh, template default table. We'll go ahead and select the green one just to fit the uh, holiday colors and the holiday theme we have here. The table does have headers as listed by product, unit sold, and rank, which we will get to. That is listed that the table does have headers. We'll click OK and it will format that as a table. All right, and once we have our data formatted as a table, we'll go ahead and begin with the rank formula. So we want to rank, for instance, the number of units sold based on product. So we're gonna to go to the first cell right below the ranking column, and we'll begin typing in the rank formula. This is equal sign and the word rank, and this will begin the rank formula open parentheses. And within this, we'll begin determining the uh, syntax for this formula. The first part of it will be number, and this is the number whose rank uh, we want to find. So for this example, it is going to be the first cell here for units sold based on product. And then we will do a comma to separate to get to the next section of the formula. And this is ref or reference. And this is essentially an array of or reference to a list of numbers. And this is uh, based on any information, the data that is below um, what we are trying to find. So for this example, it's going to be all the other products and their units sold. Um, it will be important to note that non-numeric values in the reference are ignored. So make sure it's only numeric values. And then we'll go ahead and enter a comma and get to the next section within the formula. As you can see, it will give the option for zero for descending or one for ascending. If this is omitted, for example, it will default to descending order. Uh, but for this example, we'll just go ahead and type in zero and closing parentheses and click enter. And as you can see here, it has ranked based on number of units sold per product. If we look, we see that pants sold the most units. Therefore, it is ranked number one uh, within our table. Uh, if you want the lowest units sold based on product, you can sort this formula based on ascending order. So we can go back to where we have our formula. And instead of zero, we will type in one for ascending click enter and as you can see it has ranked based on ascending order so coats with the lowest amount of units sold is now our number one rank of course for this example we have ranked products based on units sold but it doesn't have to be exclusive to sales or inventory you can rank any numeric value within a list of values and compare them for example you could be a teacher or an instructor wishing to rank your student performance based on percentage across your entire class, or maybe you are an engineer wishing to rank uh, time performance based on a machine or a product or things along, along those lines. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did find this valuable, uh, please like the video, subscribe to our channel for more educational how-to videos like this. If you want to see all of our training and offerings that we have here at the Computer Workshop, be sure to visit www.tcworkshop.com. If you have a suggestion for our next video, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you, and we will see you guys in the next video.